स्टैंडर्ड सेवन सब्जेक्ट साइंस लेसन नंबर सेवनटीन इफेक्ट्स ऑफ लाइट पार्ट टू इन आर प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट स्कैटरिंग ऑफ लाइट नाउ वी विल ट्राई वन मोर एक्टिविटी सो मटेरियल्स अ टेबल लैम्प विथ अ सिक्सटी और हंड्रेड वॉट मिल्की बल्ब एल ई डी विल नॉट डू थिन ब्लैक पेपर स्टिकिंग टेप a packing needle 100 to 100 ml glass beaker milk or milk powder dropper spoon etc so firstly we have to cover the mouth of a lamp shade properly with a black paper using sticking tape prick a hole of 1 to 2 mm diameter in the center of the paper with the help of a packing needle take a clear water in the beaker light the bulb and place the beaker in contact with a hole observe from the front and at the angle of 90 degree now add 2 to 3 drops of milk to the water and stir and observe again we will see when a few more a few more drops of milk may have to be added to make the water turbid a blue color is seen when observed along the 90 degree angle so this is the scattered blue light this is because the blue light is scattered and a red yellow light is seen from the front and the hole appears reddish if the hole is observed from the front the hole appear reddish this is because the red color in the light rays emerging from the source gets scattered the least this red light directly reaches our eyes through the solution water and hence it appears reddish if a few more drops of milk are added in the solution water the number of tiny particles in it increases due to which the scattering of blue light also increases thus maximum amount of red light reaches us and the whole become intense red if more drops of milk are added the amount of scattering of red light goes on increasing and the reddish color start disappearing why is the sky blue because the scattering of blue light by the gas molecules in the atmosphere when light heat our atmosphere it separates into all its color blue light scatter making the sky appear blue while the rest of it reaches our eyes as a white light light reaches us through the layer sunlight is scattered by the molecules of gas molecules of gases like nitrogen oxygen in the atmosphere the blue color in the sunlight is scattered the most and therefore the sky appears blue sunlight reaches us through the layer of atmosphere at the sunset the light reaching us travels a great distance through the atmosphere due to the greater distance there is more scattering of blue color as a result the red yellow light reaches us directly and the sun appears red red light is scattered less than blue light the shadow obtained from a point source and a extended source point light source a dark shadow with a sharp edge is produced the shadow is called the umbra keeping the distance between the extended source and the ball extended source and the ball the same move the screen further away from the ball observe the shadow of the ball as the screen moves further and further away the umbra becomes smaller and smaller till finally it completely disappears this shows why an aeroplane or a bird does not cast a shadow when they are very high above the earth a different kind of shadow is formed if a large light source is used the light is no longer coming from one single point the larger light source are called extended light source a point source of light is obtained by placing a screen having a fine hole in front of a luminous body extended source are meant spherical light sources and unlike point sources ex extended sources actually possess a radius and as such a capable producing shadows if you do not specially desire penumbra in your image use a point source instead extended source a source of angular size greater than the resolution of the instrument used to observe it therefore an extended source is said to be resolved 
to the human eye the sun and the moon are extended sources but the stars and planets are not during an eclipse two shadows are cast the first is called the umra it is the dark center of the eclipse shadow the second shadow is called penumbra the penumbra gets larger it is goes away from the sun the umra is the central darker part of a shadow where light is totally blocked and the penumbra is a lighter part of a shadow where light is partially blocked light from the sun and the other white source cast shadows with two distinct parts darkest part of a shadow where the light is completely blocked out is called as umbra region where only a portion of light source is obscured is penumbra thank you